Now, the Egyptian army has started arresting anti-government protesters in the center of Cairo and it marks a change of approach by the military, which previously wasn't intervening in clashes between supporters of President Mubarak and anti-government demonstrators. Five people are reported to have been killed in a morning gunfight in Cairo's Tahrir Square. That follows a day of heavy violence in which hundreds were injured. The country is braced for more trouble as it enters its 10th day of unrest. Artis Polis Lear has more from the Egyptian capital. It's been a night of unrest here in Tahrir Square in downtown Cairo as those pro mubarak and anti mubarak supporters take on one another in front of the Cairo Museum. There have been Molotov cocktails thrown. There have been people lifting road signs out of the road to use the poles to fight one another. There are people that have formed almost some kind of system where one carries buckets of stones and then moves back and reinforces the next. That violence showing no sign of abating. Ambulances are there. They've been ferrying the injured forwards and backwards. There are makeshift clinics operating there as well. A lot of fear, a lot of anger, a lot of frustration. There have been scenes of people also praying there in Tahrir Square, which is the size of about one square mile. There was a moment yesterday before these two groups went into violent confrontation when men bent down and prayed between them. And it seemed as if the situation could be diffused when all of a sudden, seemingly out of nowhere, men arrived on horseback and on camels and started whipping the crowd. And we now understand that they are workers from the nearby Giza pyramids who were frustrated and angry that tourists have been kept away. Having said all of that, a few moments ago, the curfew here was lifted. And I needed to walk through the streets of Cairo, not far from Tahrir Square, to get to this live position. I had to pass through quite a lot of military checkpoints. But having said that, the military itself is not inside Tahrir Square. They are on the perimeter, on the periphery. And as I walked here, I must have passed at least half a dozen cars with foreign citizens holding up their passports, scared and frantically making their way to the airport as international countries urge their citizens to get out. What is certainly becoming clearer is that this is President Hosni Mubarak's mobilization. There are no doubts that these pro-Mubarak supporters are receiving support from the government. There are fears they will receive reinforcements and that that violence will only intensify as the day carries on. Questions as to who can move forward, well Mubarak certainly is not giving up without a fight despite the rallying call of these protesters for him to step down immediately. Mohammed al baradei is a figure that has been supported and is being supported by the West but he is seen here as really a, an American puppet and as a person who will follow the will of the international community at much more than he'll follow the will of Egyptians. So there there is the hope that the military might still intervene. As I mentioned, they're standing on the perimeter, but they would be the force that would be able to actually do something. But the fact that they're standing there and doing nothing and not putting any pressure on Mubarak to stop the standoff is sending out a, a, a message, a very worrying message, that by their silence, they almost seem to support him.